Gucci man I was, was about bullying say. this man Jeezy for sport. Oh my god! So let me give y'all a quick, quick background on. I don't Gucci know. Jeezy, Jeezy. kind of started it, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> twenty years ago. Well, according to Gucci, fifteen, nigga. So, um, <laughs> so Jeezy and Gucci had a song called "So Icy," and apparently. The whatever came out in Jeezy's documentary was apparently Jeezy's family member who came sick, so he wasn't able to perform the song or help Gucci promote the song the way he Gucci felt it needed to be done. So Gucci was basically like, fuck you, da 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 da. So somehow the beef and the shit talking got to a point where Jeezy put a hit out on Gucci for ten thousand dollars. So one of Gucci's or one of Jeezy's men tried to ten thousand dollars. Yeah, back in the day, like fifteen years ago. So one of Jeezy's men tried to kill Gucci and take his jewelry. So Gucci killed him. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, Gucci kills him, beats the case, then immediately drops a diss track it's called The Truth. Talks about, uh, dig your friend up, bet he can't say shit. Uh, uh, something, something like just. And so they're doing this versus battle, which is basically they're going to play, for most artists, it's 10 songs, but since it's Gucci and Jeezy, Long catalogs. They're gonna do twenty songs. I believe they did twenty one rounds. So you play your twenty one best songs back and yeah, forth. That was long. And the shit talking Gucci was doing was magnificent. Like he was like, "We smoking Pookie Lok tonight," which is the name of the guy he killed. He was like, "Yeah, man, you keep sending them to me. I'm gonna send them back to you in a box." He was like, "Look at me. I got my outfit. It's ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollar outfit in reference to the ten thousand dollars that Jeezy put the hit out on him for." He's like, "Look at my opponent." In a jersey. Look at my opponent. He had a million dollars worth of jewelry on him. They were talking real estate. They was they was going back and forth. And Jeezy was playing some good songs. Gucci could have played a lot better songs. But just as far as everybody was like, um, a lot of people were like, Jeezy won. And oh, he was the bigger man because he gave some speech about, oh, Nipsey Hussle yeah. and da 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 Yeah, fuck that. Let me tell y'all why I fucked that. <laughs> he tried to kill him. That's it. You tried to kill me. <laughs> you didn't want me mm -hmm. alive. Mm -hmm. You sent your best shot, and I killed him. And I haven't got to pop my shit in your face for 15 years about it. <laughs> so you said he was just holding he was on just, to it? There was so much He's tension like... in the room, dude. There was so much tension in the room. He was calling him all types of pussy. He was like, man, play some new shit. You ain't got nothing but old shit. We on some new shit. I got current hits. Old ass. And he play some, he'll play a song, Gucci Man, like, that was cute. Play some real shit. Boom. Start playing his music. Like, it was so tense. They were going back and forth. Wait, did, so for the versus format, do they actually uh, perform or do they just, Slick. like, hit track? So it's gotten professional before. It was just, like, IG versus IG. So I'll be in my professional studio. Gino will be in his professional studio. And um, we'll both join the IG live. And then the fans can just comment and see. And it will be hosted on the versus Instagram. So now they're hosting the verses at different places and the artists will get together and they'll be on a stage and it'll be like a dual sided stage. This one was Magic City um, strip club, popular strip club in Atlanta where Lou Williams went to go get his wings. Lemon Pepper Lou, shout out to you. <laughs> and, um, so Gucci was on one side, Jeezy was on one side and they would slick like rap their little, you know, perform a little minute song and then wait for the, the next guy will go and they both had their own djs and their djs was even beefing like the djs was talking shit to each other like it was <laughs> fantastic it was fantastic that's the that's the type of shit i love he tried to kill me y'all talking about be the bigger man fuck him mm -mm. gucci came in there and said fuck him he said i told y'all i was gonna play that shit the whole song is so disrespectful He's like, man, you got the Pookie Loke family. You left his, you, he said you left his son a bastard. You left it. Like, he was, he was, huh. he was popping that shit. But guess what? You try to kill me? <laughs> I'm going to pop my shit. So it was fun. It broke a record. What was the, one point, was there a crowd? Huh? Was there a crowd? Um, I mean, 1.8 million. You know, no, no was, crowd there. It was a lot. But uh, live, 1.8 million on it Instagram broke, alone. Broke the internet, didn't um, it? Yeah, on all platforms, it reached, I think, 7 million. Yeah, I think live I at one yeah. one point seven million. So it was, it was That's crazy. Be I mean, a the, the people that were message were in the messages. I mean, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Like you have basketball teams trying to just get some clout from how much message. <laughs> like it was so many famous people, and it was so many famous people that they couldn't show anybody regulars chat. So all you saw was the blue checks chatting, 
and all the famous people just talking shit and going crazy. You had Migos was in there. You had uh, boxers. You had comedians, uh, goddamn actors, Beyonce, Jay's. Like, people were in there. And it was it was fun. It was fun like a fun little moment for the world to watch, you know. Yeah. We got to enjoy a little yeah. bit of hip hop, a little bit of beef, and we got to see. And them. they kept it going at the yeah. end too when he announced and compound. Then, <laughs> then he said, "Oh, then he said, oh my god!" So they they didn't squash the beef because to me, honest with you, there's no way you can really squash the beef. But I, they've decided that there's a there's some money that can be made mm. from between the two. I think so. They decided to the sp- rivalry, yeah, yeah. So they decided to perform the song "Icy" song that started the beef at the end together. On opposite sides of the stage, I'm sure Pookie Loke was looking down from heaven, really disappointed. But um, yeah, <laughs> um, and then Gucci Man announces, "Oh, and we got the we at the compound. Meet me there." And immediately, immediately, I told Gene, I told Gene, I looked at my phone immediately. Ninety thousand retweets and tweets, impressions, mo- number one trending thing compound and then i click on compound everybody's like y'all right now don't go to the compound if you smart if you really from atlanta you know tonight is not the night to go to the compound let them boys go to the compound because gucci and jeezy gonna get home safe i promise you that you on the other hand might not but you know a lot of people still showed up and gucci and jeezy showed up with their ultra security gucci had Security guards with AK 47s walking what? in front of his. In, he had like a caravan of vehicles, and around the caravan of vehicles, while it was traffic, he had guards, buff ones with AK 47s walking outside of his vehicle. Like real shit. Like they was not playing. Mm. So yeah, Gucci Jeezy, I guess they got to get some money. I think if they go on tour, I think they sell it out. I think they go crazy if they do that. That'd be smart. Yeah. They have a crazy amount of clout right now, man. Yeah. Also, that Travis Scott shirt is hilarious, man. Is that like their signature chains? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Travis Scott's so lame for that. He's so yeah, lame dude, he for that, that merch king. Like, he's like the, he's like the the hot guy ven- the the hot guy the hot dog vendor at the fucking like fight. He's just like here you go, Here's, get your merch. And me, <laughs> and me too. Yeah. Head ass. That's why he deleted his Instagram because of that brown Batman shit Batman, booty Batman. <laughs> That's what he had, booty brown. <laughs> This guy. Yeah, the Is that brown what's on the back Batman. Of the, oh my god. Tootsie Roll Batman. <laughs> this guy. That's on the back of the shirt. You don't know when you get until you get it. You just put it back. It's just that photo. <laughs> that man got so embarrassed because of his Halloween costume. Grown man. Chased off Instagram. <laughs> Yo, so thanks for watching a clip of FDT. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, like the clip, leave a comment, and check out our page for more content. Tune into full episodes of FDT, released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.